Well, we are on our second day of Lent. And once again, from my book, Day by Day, which is a 52-week spiritual growth system that is start anytime, and we're going to start right now. I'm going to talk about using Lent, which is let's eliminate negative thinking to obtain optimum living. During this period of time, I'm asking you to join me to abstain from negative thinking, to fast from negative thinking. Negative thinking creeps up, and it can take over if we do not do a mental house cleaning. And that is what this time is for. In Matthew 6, 27, Jesus says, And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to their span of life. Well, many people have been trained to worry. They believe that worry is responsible. To be a good man or woman is to ponder over the problems that perplex daily life. Instead, We need to clear our minds and consent to God in filling us with a divine inspiration. God never fails us because no problem is too big for God. When we get into the business of removing waste that is packed into our consciousness, a shift happens inside of us from problem thinking to solution thinking. Our lives start to move from stagnation of worry into the propulsion that is leading to victory. Milton Dillaway said this, Life asks only that we flow with it, that we do not resist, that we do not crawl into corners and erect barriers. Only humans make life difficult. Having lost touch in their awareness with the Creator, the person is driven hither and yon by the impulses of their negative or their lower human nature. Unable to consent, having refused to accept the great rhythm of life, They have lost their ability to live with being real. The current and the voice of the power of God with the pulse beat that would enable them to chime in with the harmonies of creation. In Revelations 2 verse 17, we read this. The person who has an ear Let that person hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The person who conquers, I will give some of the hidden manna. I will give that person a white stone with a new name written on the stone, which no one knows except the person that receives it. This Bible verse is not intended just for church management but for people in the churches as well. This passage is talking about hearing with an inner ear, listening to the still small voice of God. To the person who conquers. What is being conquered? We defeat our own limited human thinking by consenting to an infilling of God. Humans can only think in terms of limitation, but God's divine ideas are limitless. A hidden continuous wellspring of manna to meet your every need. A white stone. A white stone means a clean slate, a new beginning. It's a beautiful statement of fact that no matter who you were yesterday. God is giving you a fresh start. And nothing from yesterday can remain except 
what you wish to carry over. This can be a new beginning in fresh ideas, guidance, direction, and hope. This is a new beginning in health.